Hi, my name is Rhiannon. I'm 31 years old and I've recently had a diagnosis of hereditary chronic pancreatitis. When I was three years old, my dad got diagnosed with chronic pancreatitis. And even though my childhood was hospitals and doctors, I was always very shielded from the facts and the, the, the details of his illness. So everything that I had seen, I had assumed was pancreatitis. Growing up, the doctors always told me it's not hereditary, it's not genetic, it can't in any way be passed down. I had made peace with the fact that I think my dad was just a very, very unlucky man. My dad passed away when I was 21. And I think it's safe to say that I did not handle it well at all. I really threw myself into the nightlife. Instead of dealing with the bereavement, I tried to escape and just, th just threw myself in, into drinking and eating awful. My diet really suffered. And that's when I started getting quite bad abdominal pain. I would go to the hospital and they would say to me, you have gallstones. Pro they would prescribe me some common sense. That's what one of the doctors said. Um, I need to change my diet. And throughout this entire time, I, I would look at my friends who were drinking the same, if not more than me, and wonder why they're completely fine and I'm, I'm not. Um, but so I started having abdominal pain again and I went into the hospital and the doctor told me that my amylase was high and my pancreas was inflamed and my world stopped. I saw everything that I've watched my dad go through is now going to happen to me. Completely un unaware at, at this point now that I'm older, I realised that that there were a lot of other things going on with my dad that he, he protected me from so I never knew about but in my head it was all pancreatitis because that, that's all we had ever been told and um so so that was eight years ago and I haven't touched alcohol since it was the first time that I'd learned that alcohol can cause pancreatitis because my dad from what I have been told, couldn't handle his drink, so he didn't drink. So, stopped drinking, changed my diet. I tried my best to have a healthy lifestyle, or at least a, a vast improvement from what I was doing at the time. So, three years ago, I woke up in the worst physical pain of my life. I couldn't move and I knew I knew what it was because I I have vivid memories of my dad not not being able to move and I didn't know if I couldn't move because I was in so much pain or if I was too afraid to move but my boyfriend put me in the car and took me to A&E which is accident and emergency over here they um, gave me morphine straight away and took my bloods and sent me for a scan. And my amylase was 2000 and I had a cyst on my pancreas. So the same old question, how much do you drink? I said, I, 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 don't, I don't drink. And they said, well, well, okay, when was the last time you had a drink? And I said, five years ago. And then their tone changed completely. They wanted to know what I'd been doing and and if I'd had anything like this before. And I told them everything. I told them about my dad. I told them about the gallstones. They then had told me that they'd gone back through my records and there had been no evidence of gallstones at all. They had just assumed that they were gallstones that had passed because they never found them on the scans. I remember a doctor said to me, verbatim, 
chronic pancreatitis for no reason for no reason is rare chronic pancreatitis for no reason genetically passed down from your dad is unheard of constantly reassuring me that it's not genetic that it, it it's not hereditary it's fine it's nothing that can be passed down but here i was lying in a hospital bed feeling rotten i felt awful for a very very long time i said to the doctors i hate the word idiopathic i don't think that should be allowed <laughs> i absolutely hate it and i i really fought back with what they were saying and my consultant who took over my care who was the loveliest man sent me for genetic testing and it only took a few weeks to get the results back and i have inherited two genes a cystic fibrosis gene and a spink one gene he told me that there's no way of knowing where these genes came from i could have inherited one from my mum and one from my dad both from my mum but i i knew i knew exactly where they came from and i was really angry and it really took took me a long time to not be angry with my dad and I just thought to myself if he were here now to hear the news that I've inherited these genes he would be heartbroken and he would be so sorry and that's I, I while I still have those moments of anger towards him it, I tell myself it's, it's not his fault and it's really not he had no idea and then that that's where it took a bit of a positive turn for me because I thought he had no idea he had these genes so he couldn't he couldn't he didn't have any tools to to deal with the situation at hand but I do I now know that I have these genes I now know that alcohol is 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 gonna just push me further to that. I know alcohol is now just is not gonna help the situation at all. I can put things in place to make sure at least I live the healthiest that that I can. So we have something called Europac here. And what that means is that when I'm 40, every six months I can go and get tested and scans for, um, to, to, just to see if there's any changes in the pancreas. I've recently found out there's a stone in my pancreas. So I've been referred to the surgeons. Um, they don't know whether they want to remove it because I, I, as of now, I'll touch wood. It's not causing me any grief, any, you know, I'm just going to say jip. It's not causing me any pain. But they don't want to leave it either. So they're, they're just trying to find out what to do. And another thing that we've discovered is that is that I'm not absorbing nutrients. So I'll start my medication. Um, I assume it's going to be Creon from the research. Um, so I'll start that. And that's for the minute that's all I can do. Just do what the doctors tell me to do. But more so than that, research, talk to people, and see if there's anything that I can do in my lifestyle to uh, if there is a curve to get ahead of, let me get ahead of the curve. A positive takeaway from all of this is I really had to have a few words with myself because this is and my poor dad at least i now have an answer as to what happened to my dad i know that's quite a weird spin on things but at least now that I, I i know and that i have the tools in my arsenal that my father never had <laughs>